so Dr. Givaldo, um, I know citizenship really arises in multiple ways within the, the book Zaytun. What could you tell us about that? Well, one of the one of the issues with the with the book is that in many ways it's not, of course, about Hurricane Katrina at all. It's about the decade in which it takes place, and hence the the longer timeline of the book, um, and that some of the issues that the other panelists just raised with the previous question um, in terms of the war on terror or the way that people treat others who are either under suspicion or, or different from themselves um, really plays into the, our understanding of what's happening in, in the book. Um, that as opposed to just seeing this as a particular um, story of this one family or, or Hurricane Katrina, it becomes a kind of multiple catastrophes of Hurricane Katrina, as well as the war on terror, as well as the entire with, with us or against them mindset of the whole decade. Um, and what the, the book winds up doing then is demonstrating these tremendous layers of ambiguity or with the way that disaster isn't just a version of uh, a storm, but as much as the, the multiple disasters, some of them natural and many of them human made that take place in the book. Um, one of the things that I'm especially interested in is that, unlike the other panelists, I don't have any personal connection or experience with what happened in, in, uh, in New Orleans. What I am interested, though, in is the aspect of the book and the book as a Maryville Reads shared uh, campus read and the way in which, unlike watching the news or reading newspapers or even watching documentaries, the book can get students thinking and involved with some of the larger, more nuanced problems or questions that the book arises as opposed to the usual stark dichotomies or simplifications that I think we're used to um, when, we're, when we're confronted just with images or even just within the moment. That is, the, the book came out several years after the events, um, and that gave the writer some time to collect and reflect upon um, what the significance of this is. And that, that opens it up for the reader to ponder what does it mean to be a citizen, both for the, the people in the, in the book, but as well as for themselves. I think there are two ways to look at what it means to be a citizen. I think one is just to think about what does the government owe you? And obviously from what the film clip that we just saw, people definitely felt abandoned. And I don't think that there was a single person who was residing in New Orleans who in the first days in the aftermath of Katrina didn't say to themselves, what are they thinking? Uh, I know I did. I asked that question over and over again. I asked why is it taking so long to respond to this disaster when it took no time to respond to the World Trade Center? All of us ask those questions. But the other aspect of citizenship that I really like to focus on is what people did individually. Because there were great acts of her heroism, great uh, generosity. People opened up their homes to strangers in the aftermath of Katrina and welcomed them so that they could have a place to stay. People from southwest Louisiana brought their boats to take the situation in hand to rescue people because they were tired of the fact that people weren't, the government was not acting. So I think this is other aspect of citizenship, which is about our personal responsibility to each other that I like to focus on as one of the great things that I learned in Katrina. One more aspect of being a citizen is also being a member of a family. And as appalling as we all felt watching the government response to Hurricane Katrina after reading the book, I was left appalled by the family's response to the wife and to the pregnant relative. Um, I, I just could not get my head around after witnessing so much generosity in Biloxi. I just could not believe that a family could possibly take the actions that were taken.